Hey everyone, this is Hero Bitcoin, and today I'm going to show you my game called Hero Bitcoin. So this is the demo cart I've got right here. So it's going to be a real physical release, and it'll be playable on a Game Boy. So I've got my trusty Game Boy Color here, Pokemon Edition. And just to show you how it works. There you go. So it actually works on a real Game Boy. But today I'm going to show you the game through emulation. So here we go. Okay, so I'll read the story to you, so you get an idea of the story. There was a boy called Hero who grew up in an average family, in an average house, in an average neighborhood. He was happy with no cares in the world. That was until he became an adult and started working. At first, it was good and he lived a mostly peaceful life. But no, ma no matter how hard he worked, no matter how many jobs he did, Life was getting more and more difficult. Those around him who had things had caved in becoming debt slaves. Hero wouldn't let it happen to him and his family. It was then he stumbled on the power of Bitcoin. He learned all about the fiat system and how it's ruled by a small amount of greedy people who want to make the world into debt slaves. He studied for 1000 hours, some would say he was orange pilled. Hero realized the system is unfair and had to change it. It was then he decided he would do what heroes do, fix the world by fixing the money using the power of Bitcoin. Hero tweeted to President Bukele about wanting to help the fight on the front lines. To his surprise, he received a DM. I've been looking for someone like you, Hero, someone who cares not about greed, but truly about the people of this world. Come to El Salvador, your help is needed here more than ever. President Bukele. Hero didn't hesitate. He grabbed his Bitcoin cold wallet and took the next flight to the beautiful lands of El Salvador. And that is where the story begins. I hope you had a pleasant flight. Enjoy your stay here at El Salvador. So this game plays similar to Mario um, on, for the Game Boy. So you've got just two buttons, A and B for the Game Boy. So there's a run button and a jump button. Um, and they'll do other things as well within the game as it progresses. And so you can even talk to people. So here, Stacy and Max are here. I'm so glad to be back here. Max and I moved here recently. It really feels like home already. And here we have the government officials from El Salvador to greet you. And you do not understand them because they speak Spanish. But luckily they have a translator. Can you understand us now? It's great to finally meet you, Hero. President Bukele sent us to guide you. As you may know, the country has been overrun by poo corners, bears and worst of all, bakers. I hope you don't mind we test your skills. We need to see your proof of work. Make your way past the poo corners to the next town in one piece and I'll tell you more. Good luck. So this is the airport and you can press up to enter doors. Um, you will meet famous Bitcoiners like here's Mark Moss right here through these safe areas. Um, these areas have no fighting and then um, you have areas which are with full of enemies. So here's an art gallery. Um, it shows off some of my art um, that I've done. So I'll have a quick look. So this is the demo that I'm currently playing and it's about one fourth of the game. Um, and so I've just put a little taste of some of my art that I've put in here. So I just put two art pieces, um, one being um, called Real Bond, um, which is of Pres President Bukele tackling the IMF. So in this game, um, you've got to run, you can run and jump on enemies, just like in Mario. Um, and later you do get a sword, so you can attack in other ways as well. Um, and you've got to collect all the Bitcoin. So each Bitcoin, there's 21 in this game, and they'll be hidden in hard to find and dangerous places. So in the demo, there are 11. So in this game, when you get hurt, you have health, just like in Zelda. So you got four pieces to a heart, um, and you do unlock more huts as you progress. And in order, in order to heal in this game, the hotels are fully booked. 
I'm sorry, we're fully booked. Business is booming since El Salvador adopted Bitcoin as their sovereign currency. Feel free to use our lounge area to rest. So in this game, in order to heal, you actually have to listen to podcasts, which you can do resting on the couch at the hotel. When you listen to it, a random podcast will play. And here we go, we got Vlad Swan here. So this is the basics of the game really. Um, there are big other enemies as you go along, ones that shoot projectiles, one that will move around faster, whatnot. It'll progressively get harder as you move along. And here we have the first boss, which I won't ruin um, because there is a special way to defeat him. So that's, that's the basics of the game. Um, it's quite a simple game. Uh, this demo is about a quarter of the full game and will be available very, very soon in the coming days. So I hope you guys have um, check it out on my Gazer page and purchase it. The reason why I chose the Game Boy is because it's a, it's a, it's a massive nostalgia trip for me. Um, it is much easier to develop in the Game Boy now than it used to be. There's lots of developer tools out there, so I thought it was quite, it's quite an easier tool for someone like me who's not a big programmer. Bitcoin, we're starting the financial system again, so I wanted to go back to the roots of gaming as well and start that again. So I thought the Game Boy is the perfect choice. Um, it is a very robust system. So you can find me on Twitter and Instagram, um, just um, at Hero Bitcoin. I also have a shop called Hero Treasure, so you can just um, visit it at herotreasure.com and you can get awesome shirts like this one. I hope you enjoy this demo and I hope you check it out on Gazer once it's ready. See ya.